I am Tracy Scott. I am the president and co-founder of Set Bastides Mustang Sanctuary. Uh, today we are in Burns, Oregon to visit the uh, holding facility here where there are wild horses waiting to be adopted. There is a project through the Mustang Heritage Foundation called Mustang Million where a particular horse that is chosen can be um, trained for about 120 days and then taken to a competition in Fort Worth in the fall. And the idea is to bring um, national attention and exposure to Step Fast Seeds and the gentling program that Step Fast Seeds has. There's a lot that goes into choosing a horse. I, as a, a grounded, energetic individual that wants to co-create with the universe in finding a horse that wants to partner with us in bringing awareness to all of their family members that are in holding facilities. It takes um, some intentionality and for me to be in tune with my own self so that I can connect with the horses that are in the holding facility to find the one that is most agreeable to partner in this project with us. Uh, there's a team of us that are here today that uh, will all be participating in bringing the horse back to Grand Junction, Colorado to work on the project together. I will look for a horse that wants to participate in a way that is a team member, that is um, soft when we're in its presence, that uh, doesn't shy away from us, he, he or she may not approach us specifically, and they also don't want to move away, that they want to be in our space. A horse has a very large bubble, and so a horse can be close to us and feel close to us where we as human beings don't feel like the horse is very close because our bubble is so small. I have become more aware of my own power and my own ability to connect on an energetic level with the horse and with the horses in our herd that are currently in Steadfast Seeds herd. Um, I'm very aware that they each have their own color, their own identity, their own personality. Um, by color, I don't just mean their coat color, but also um, an energy color. And so I've been trying to connect with the horse that wants to participate in the project through those colors. Uh, when we go to the facility to see the horses and be in their presence, I'll be looking for that color um, to see if there's a horse that presents itself in the color of pink. Um, what I'm really looking for is a horse that wants to participate, one that wants to further the cause of Steadfast Deeds and be an ambassador of Steadfast Deeds so that we are working on our purpose, our goal, our mission, and, and participating as a team of horses and people in helping all those horses and holding facilities. Twenty-one thirty. Uh, the 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 sorrel with the white blaze. Yeah. He's a, a three-year-old, I believe. Where's um, let's see. I recognize him. So can you tell me about that pony? Did you were you able to find? Yeah, he's three. He's fourteen, three, and he's a three-year-old. Mm. He's gonna get three? big. This guy right here. He's right over here behind that Palomino. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they are cute. Look at them looking at us. I know. can't quite read his number.
That one has stitches yes. on it. That one has stitches on it. Coming. You see that under his chest? The pound nail. Um, I think it's um, that just that hair that that's dirt? being yeah. falling off. Yeah. Okay, so these three. Um, the the pal the the pinto buckskin pinto is a three year old fourteen three hands from the paisley the palomino is three year old fifteen one hands from the paisley and this guy right here is also a three year old they're all three year olds all from the paisley desert all fourteen three fourteen three and Oh, they're all the same height. No, 15-1 is 21-55 Palomino. <laughs> wow. Now, you know, when we start talking about them and not being present anymore, they all walked yeah. away. <laughs> yeah, we, we, started, mm -hmm. we started talking about the Left ages, brain, left, left brain stuff. Brain, mm -hmm. And then that mm -hmm. was it. They mm -hmm. said, eh, okay. we're out of here. Yeah. face I saw in my dream, it was a real bright blaze. Oh, was that, was that, was that a when we first started this project and started talking about the possibilities, I saw lots of mane. And that's what I see in that horse is is mane. Mm -hmm. um, and he has that pretty blaze. Hi, bye bye. So far, we've checked out the gilding corral, and Tracy and I are in pretty close agreement between two horses. They're both three-year-olds. One's a Palomino, and one is a Pinto. And what we're looking for is a horse that wants to connect that is curious, that isn't standoffish, that comes up to the rail. Um, they're not necessarily um, touching, but they are very curious and they, they want to connect with humans. And that's a really good sign. The two-year-olds are really cute. We, we're not looking for a two-year-old because they're way too young for us right now and we want to have a riding horse. But the two-year-olds are like little puppy dogs. They want to be in your lap. Um, but we are looking for probably a three or a four-year-old. And so we've narrowed it down to two gildings in this corral. And now we're going to go over and check out the mares in the other corral. Hi. Were you going to come taste me too? Hi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll be speaking for you. Yeah, I'm doing some speaking for you. Got to get you out of this holding facility, don't we? Yeah. Hi. Okay, I'm going to walk up here and ask Wendy about this mare. All right, so bring your awareness into your body and feel your feet on the ground. Feel the sun on your body. Breathe through your belly and with your diaphragm. Be in this moment, be in this place, be in this presence of these incredible wild creatures who we as a team want to advocate for and want to bring to public awareness as well as bring some awareness to steadfast deeds. Now bring your awareness to the done mare, the wide blaze striped down her back. My sense is a little more of get me out of here. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Yeah, my, my being was, uh, I'd like to be with you so I don't have to be here. Uh -huh. uh, it, it doesn't go to what I can do with you uh -huh. for the cause or for other horses. Uh -huh. It was more of a, can you help me? Uh -huh. I just imagined the um, sorrow at the competition, and I had butterflies in my belly. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and he reared at me, 
And we laughed and we ran off together. It was really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Did um, anyone else come in for you? The Palomino comes in um, a little softer, uh, not as energetic. He's, he's, he's a lot of love. I don't feel confidence from him that, he, that his confidence is there for um, being able to be in front of a group of people mm -hmm. and, and partnering with us. Mm -hmm. He wants to be with us. Oh my, I just don't feel his confidence in. He's softer. Yeah, he is softer. He would. Um, oh, he's mm -hmm. very gentle. sweet. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, I know okay. you talk about our solar plexus, and that's the energy of a horse. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're when you're riding a horse and you're leading a horse, you kind of mm -hmm. go into the the what do you call it, recent future, mm -hmm. the recent future. So you lead a horse where you want it to go, but you're not like forcing it or predicting it or conditioning it. Mm -hmm. When 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 our solar plexus is a herd to lead a horse, or for a horse to lead us, does that mm -hmm. bubble up anybody else, any any other horse? Or, or which horse bubbles up, I guess. The sorrow. Yeah, I feel the sorrow. Okay. Great. Okay, all right. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three. Let's Set go. Deeds. Let's do it. All right. Let's go uh, find that horse. All right.